When was Pole Town destroyed? 1981. Pole Town is a neighborhood in northeast Detroit, bordering Hamtramck, that was raised in 1981 to provide land for the construction of a General Motors Cadillac plant. Under eminent domain, it was the most number of people ever moved in the shortest amount of time in the United States. In 1981, a portion of the neighborhood was demolished to make way for the construction of the General Motors Detroit slash Hamtramck assembly plant. General Motors and the cities of Detroit and Hamtramck relied on eminent domain to relocate the 4,200 people who lived in the area, along with their 1,300 homes, 140 businesses, six churches, and one hospital. Three, the plant was built at the boundary of Hamtramck and Detroit as a BOC factory. Buick Oldsmobile Cadillac, and became known as the Pulltown Plant. Coleman Young, mayor of Detroit, used eminent domain to seize the portion of Pulltown. Critics stated that Young could have chosen other areas for the plant and yet he chose one of the final remaining working-class white areas of Detroit. Young had criticized the destruction of the Black Bottom through eminent domain, for some of the displaced residents sued the cities and General Motors, but the Michigan Supreme Court ruled that economic development was a legitimate use of eminent domain. Another Poltown group, the Citizens District Council, supported the efforts to build the new plant. Gary Campbell, a Poltown resident and bar owner, accused those opposing the new plant of presenting opinions of a small minority as if they represented the entire neighborhood. The controversy led to national news attention and the involvement of Ralph Nader and the Grey Panthers. Protests centered on Immaculate Conception Roman Catholic Church. The regional Catholic Archdiocese supported the relocations and had already agreed to sell the two Catholic churches that were in the area. However, Joseph Karasiewicz, the priest at one of the parishes, defied his archbishop and fought to keep his building from being sold. The Archdiocese stood firm in its support of the sale. A 29-day sit-in at the Immaculate Conception Church came to an end on July 14, 1981, when police forcibly evicted 20 people from the church. Twelve people were arrested, only three of the twelve arrested were from Poltown, five. Poltown Neighborhood Council v. Detroit became a landmark case for public use eminent domain matters. Twenty-three years later, the Michigan Supreme Court reversed the precedent that it had set in the earlier case. In their 2004 decision, County of Wayne v. Hathcock a property owner near Detroit's Metropolitan Airport successfully fought against the development of a new suburban office-slash-industrial park, 6, the case was argued by Michigan eminent domain attorney Alan T. Ackerman. In a later 2005 United States Supreme Court decision, the case of Kelo v. City of New London ruled that the use of eminent domain to promote economic development is constitutional but the opinion in Kelo cites the Hathcock decision as an example of how states may choose to impose their own restrictions on the taking of property. Poltown was the start of the death of the Polish Americans. Social engineering and destruction of a people? Or GM wanted and took the land? Or both? I still say buy American cars but this is awful. Take note Irish Americans who were thrown out of South Boston.